Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you. I returned, teacher. Really? Ah, yes, you are there. <laughs> Lo siento, no podía asistir con cámara porque estaba en casa ajena. Ah, ok. Estaba en casa ajena. Todavía no me han pasado la herencia por eso. <risa> no ha firmado. No ha firmado todavía. Pero gracias, teacher. Ah, ok. Hello, Escobar. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Um, I am fine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Tired. A little tired? A little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little. Okay.
Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How is the weather in your area? Hello? In my case, hot. A little hot. A little hot? Yeah. Okay. This area was raining a little bit. In this in this moment, wind windy? Yeah, windy. 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 Yes. Windy, windy. Windy, no windy. <laughs> <laughs> no when no when is when when okay okay let me see cut something Okay, here we go. Um, let me see. Okay, we are we are so close to finish this week. And for the reason I need that you finish all the activities that you haven't done yet. Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana, Be Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Ana Lilian. Present.
Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Present, mister. Okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Eliana Recinos. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. A tiempo. <laughs> Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. No. Okay. Let me see how many people do we have now? 16. Okay, let us start making a review. Do you remember uh, about what we talked yesterday? Ideas. No ideas. Tell me. If you remember what we talked yesterday. Okay, this is video conference number uh, 19. We are going to talk about Cauciary Bears part one. In order to start today, uh, we need to make a review about the previous class. What do you remember about? You can take a look of your note if you want, and that way you are going to remember what we are studying.
Why do you eat? I'm sorry, I, I, I was difficult for me to, to listen in the right way. Can you repeat, please? Mm, I remember we need clear, why do you eat? Why do we? Why do you eat? Okay, but, but the main topics, do you remember the main topic? <laughs> the no, I... strong brand. Ah, okay. And what do you remember about that? What do you remember? <clears throat> We mentioned a lot different aspect related with this topic. The five components of a strong brand. Ah, okay. I remember one. the the one. Okay. The, a clear the, why. Ah, the fair one. You remember the fair one, right? Okay, what else? My camera is not working. I don't know why. My goodness. What can I do? My camera is not working. <clears throat> no, it's freeze. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. No yes, sé, Mister. No sé por qué se me ha congelado mi cámara. No puedo abrirla. I got it now. Se queda atrasada. Quizás no sé cuánto. Segundos. But I'm here again. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let us make a review about yesterday. Claudia already mentioned the first one that talks about why. Okay, what else? You can tell me about it. What else? <clears throat> Try to remember. If you don't remember, try to take a look at your notes because you need to keep in mind the five, the five uh, characteristics that we mentioned yesterday. You can take a look at your notes. No problem. <clears throat> I don't know, but here it, it looks like it's going to rain again. I don't know in your areas. Maybe that is the reason why I'm, I'm getting a weak uh, internet service now.
Okay, somebody else want to say uh, the, the second one? A uh, clear brand promise. Ah, oh, clear, okay. And um, we were talking about the brand's uh, image in the message too. Okay. And uh, for us, the goal is to do business business with the people who believe that you believe. Okay, okay, I like that. The next one. Start to rain here. Start to rain. A clear target market. Ok, esperemos que no se nos vaya la energía porque ha iniciado a llover acá otra vez. Okay, uh, you mentioned some some ideas related with the topic that we started yesterday. Remember that uh, you need to have in mind all the information that we studied in the previous class. And that way uh, you are going to use this information in, uh, in different situations. Okay, let us start talking about the, with the new topic today. In your material, I need that you take a look at the page number 28. It talks how, how to use uh, causality bears part one. But maybe uh, we need to have a concept about, about this kind of bear that we are going to study today. But I need that you get familiar with uh, with the topic, right? I don't know if you already take a look of uh, the page that I tell you. No sé si ya pudieron eh, mirar la página que les dije. Say branding, how to use Kabusati verb part one. Ah, okay. Okay.
Then again, my head comes because it is raining here and I can hear you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. 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 I'm going to share uh, the face. But first of all, uh, we are going to study some part of this presentation. And we have a definition about what is the meaning of this kind of bird. Take a look at it and, and then we are going to we are going to to, to read it. Of course, today we are going just to study only two because we are going to continue tomorrow with the same topic. Okay, cause to bear, bear that cause something else to happen. Okay, you need to have clear this concept. Bears that cause something else to happen. Cause to bear are let, may, have, help, and get. How to use positive bears in English? Okay, let us see how we are going to use it. Okay, we are going just to go directly to the one that we need to study today. Then this case, it is for example, uh, that we need to talk about may. Use may to for or require someone to take an action. As you can see, uh, grammatical structure, you are going to use the word may plus the person plus the pair. In this case, you need to use the bay form. And we got some example like my teacher makes me work her. May he do it. Or uh, I'll make you pay for it. As you see, uh, we have different colors. And I need that you take into account what, what is the meaning of each color in the examples. Make is in red. As you see, uh, with any inflections, when talks about the person, uh, has to do with personal pronoun. In this case, for example, my teacher makes me wear her. And you are going to use the verb in bay forms, that is in green. Make him do it, I'll make you pay for it. Well, what is the meaning of the last? Example that we got there. Tell me. Hello. What do you understand about the last example? I made you pay for it. Te repar por eso, teacher. 
Ah, ok, por algo que ha hecho, ¿cierto? Ok, for the reason uh, the use is made at the beginning said to for or we require someone to take an action. You need, you need to take into account uh, this and also the structure that you are going to use it. As I told you today, we are going just to study two of them according to our material. Okay, um, I don't know if based on this uh, example, you, you can create your own. Basado en estos ejemplos, me gustaría que ustedes crearan sus propios. Taking into account the colors that I'm showing you. Tomando en cuenta los colores que les estoy mostrando ahí. And try to write down the, the, the grammatical structure. And based on that, uh, I need that you create some examples. If you want, you can make an screenshot. Okay, let us see what else we are going to study today. Because as I told you, we are going to see uh, some parts of this presentation because tomorrow we are going to continue talking about this. And you can contrast uh, this grammatical structure with the one that we got in the in the material that I told you. And it is the, the, uh, the same explanation, but with different words. Later on, we are going to study uh, how we are going to do Okay, let, let us see what else we are going. Okay, we are going to talk about get to. And I'm going to show you something later with get. And then we are going to talk about the next slide. Okay. When we talk about gets, they use this contraction usually means convinced to do something. Okay, listen. We got it in quote. Convinced to do something or to trick someone. Okay, post that grammatical structure. As person, as school. Teacher, no sé si será mi señal, pero le escucho cortado. Igual. <laughs> Yo también. No se oye bien, teacher. ¿Oye esto? No se le oye bien. No se le oye. Hello. Ah, oh, can you hear me? Yo sí le escucho, teacher. Hoy, Hoy sí, teacher. Hoy sí, pero estaba entrecortado, no se oía nada. Uh, uh, uh. One. Can you hear me? Hear me? No, parece robot. Like. Uh, 
Oh, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. I'll say okay. 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 No, teacher. No, no se teacher. escucha bien. Se Está le, cortado. Se le, se le va el sonido, teacher. <risa> se le escucha cortado, teacher. Sí, es como robot. Tal vez se quita el video. Ah. Hola, hola. Ahora sí. Ahora no. Ay. No, teacher. No, teacher, nada. No, nada, nada, teacher. Cortado, no, mm -mm. como que se ha hablado, pero solo... Solo por nada, momentos se, se le escucha. Un pedacito. Ajá. Como que un pedacito de video, nada más, o un pedacito de audio. Hola. Okay. ¿Me logran oír? Ahorita sí, teacher. Sí, teacher. Yes. Okay, let, let me share, let me share with it. Uh, as soon as you don't hear me very well, just let me. Tan pronto no me puedan oír, por me aviso. Teacher, ¿Ah? cuan, cuando... Dice frases largas, no se le escucha la oración larga, eh, solo cuando nos dice hola, eh, pero después se le escucha ya cortado, teacher. Ok. Pero sí, es explanation. Take a look at this explanation. Take a look at the example. Teacher, no se le escucha bien. Nada, teacher. I've been trying. Hola. Es hola, lejos, teacher. Cortado. El hola sí se me oye bien. Sí. <risa> hola, de hola. Sí, teacher. Ay, qué Déjame cambiar aquí algo a ver si tal vez eso me funciona. Ah. Ahorita se está escuchando Esa bien. frase de déjeme no, cambiar no algo para... para ver si eso me funciona. Eso sí, perfectamente. Eh, entonces, solamente cuando hablo en español sí? se oye bien, pero cuando hablo no, en inglés no. Ahorita, pero es cierto, teacher. pero Ahorita. es cierto. Ok, no sé por qué uh, está pasando, porque durante todo el año pasado que estaba la lluvia, yo pasé dando clase y nunca me dio un problema. Hoy se supone tengo el doble de velocidad en el sistema eh, de internet y tendría que no estarme dando problemas. No estoy conectado eh, a través de Wi-Fi, sino que a través de, de un cable directo desde el modem y no me tendría que estar generando ningún problema. Pero también podría ser quizás el ordenador que estoy usando, aunque es el mismo. Pero me van diciendo si me están oyendo eh, bien ahorita o no. Ahorita, ahorita sí, sí dicho. Está bien. Ahorita, ahorita sí, está claro. bien. Oh, sí. Okay. Quizás tuvo bajón de internet. 
es posible, pero uh, bueno, las compañías, como alguien lo dijo, solamente nos venden cantidades, números, pero la realidad es otra. Eh, pues yo creí que por hacer el cambio, acabo de hacer un cambio de velocidad, eh, me iba a funcionar mejor, pero veo que sigo en la misma, en la misma historia. El cambio de factura nomás. Pero en la factura me están cobrando 60 megas, son las que yo tengo de, de velocidad. Eso es lo que yo pago. Entonces, si yo le hago, le acabo de hacer el test, me aparece que, que sí. Son las que tengo, pero la, realmente lo que me está dando es, es problemas, no buena señal. Let pero me... va a ser... Teacher, hagan el test con uno que no sea de, de, de la compañía de, ¿De ellos. De internet. Ajá. <ríe> Esa es una idea. Sí, porque ya el de ellos ya lo tienen. Uh, let, let me show you here. Como la selecta amañado. Sí, todo está amañado. Teacher, es como un celular que yo tengo, el de la cámara, que no le funciona. Ah, Ese se quedaba... Mire, es, es cierto, es, no le sirve la cámara y se quedaba trabado. Cuando compré el otro, porque supuestamente ya no tenía arreglo, cuando compré el otro, hoy oh, ya funciona, la cámara no le funciona, pero ya sí. no se traba, se apagaba él solo. Ah, ok, but uh, I, I'm not, I don't know what is happening here. I already made uh, the test again in order to be sure that everything is working in the right way. But uh, let me show you this. I don't know if I'm going to have any problem in order to show you this, but uh, you got it there. This is what I got. This is what I got. Okay. Okay, but let us start talking again. I don't know if you can hear me now. Yes, teacher. Now yes. Yes. yes, teacher. De lo contrario, me va a tocar aprender, yo no. Know? <laughs> El lenguaje, a señas. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ahorita eso está peligroso, teacher. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's difficult also, uh, but we need to be careful. Pero es, es muy diferente la forma de cómo se comunican las personas a través de señas como lo hacen otros personajes. Ok, uh, vamos a irnos directo al material por cuestiones del tiempo. Les tenía una presentación ahí que compartirles, pero quizás no lo vamos a hacer el día de hoy. Eh, me disculpo por los inconvenientes. Ya les mostré que no, no es mi sistema que tengo. Y eh, hagamos lo mejor que podamos hacer porque la lluvia sigue. Y no sabemos si sea la lluvia la que nos esté causando ese tipo de problemas. Ok, I got the material here. I don't know if you can see it. Just tell yes. me. Ok. Uh, in the activity number four, say how to use Causality Bear Part 1. And look at the example in the box and then complete the exercise below. Uh, at the beginning, I, I started uh, explaining the meaning of these two words, but I don't know if, uh, if you hit it in the right way. No sé si por el problema que teníamos eh, me pudieron oír o no me pudieron oír. ¿Qué es lo que dije eh, sobre estas dos palabras? But, but let us see the example that we got here in the books. Bears may and get. We are going to study only as make and get. Okay. Take a look at the first one. Make plus someone plus bear in bay firm. And the example say in this way. The marketing department may employees revise goals and metrics every month. Take a look at these two words. And also take a look at the, the structure that we have here, this one. And it is 
it is here too. Okay, let me do this. I don't know if you understand the, the, the examples. Yes, teacher. Okay, who wants to read the second one? Only one. The, 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 the poor identify of the brand made people look for products for different companies. Ah, okay. Let me erase this. My goodness. Okay, also here in this example, I need that you uh, identify the make, the song one, and the bear in bay form right here. It is quite easy. The Okay. Okay. Make is make. Yeah, someone is people and bear and in paper is look. is look, okay. Look. What about the third one? The brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer the mobile phone. Ah, okay. And also here, uh, we have the, the verb make not only yes in simple present, but also in simple past too. That means that we can use it uh, in both ways. Right here, if you identify the, may, the make, this is in uh, simple past. Someone is consumer and, and the bear in bay form is preferred. Okay, based on these examples, if you don't got the material, try to make an, a screenshot because I need that every one of you create at least two examples. Okay, make an, a screenshot now. and try to create your own example. And you are going to share it with us following the structure that we have in the material. Okay, uh, try to do this. I don't know if you are going to be able to do it. At the moment that you are going to share your screen, I'm going to let you share your screen. But um, I don't know, let me see how can I show you this. At the moment that you are going to share your screen, at the top, you find something that say whiteboard. I don't know if you can see it. Are you, are, are you able to see it? Yes. 
Yes or not? Okay, let me let yes, me make it. Ah, okay. What you are going to do is that you are going to write down your sentences there. For example, I got mine. And at the moment that you are going to have your opportunity, you are going to do it in this way. You are going to choose text and you are going to start writing your example in order that everyone can see it. Is that possible? Yes or not? Okay, we need we need just two examples. No more than two, please. I was trying I was trying to to put in different color uh, the different word but it's not possible at least here. You need to write down at least two. Teacher, era como hacer un ejemplo usando la palabra make. Hacer dos ejemplos. Pero, pero no solo la palabra make. También. Get. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to go back and show you this. I already explained this structure. Ya expliqué esta estructura, ¿cierto? Hello. Yes. Ok, ya expliqué esta estructura, ya leímos los tres ejemplos y puse unas líneas donde se encuentra cada una de las, eh, los componentes de la estructura. Usted, basado en este, en esta estructura, Va a crear dos ejemplos que sigan la misma estructura que tenemos. El may va a ir ahí. El someone you can choose different uh, personal pronoun. And at the end, you can have a different verb too. Okay. Okay. okay.
Okay, I don't know if you can see uh, the example that I have here. The first one says, he always makes me do his work. He always makes me do his work. I got the make, I got the someone, and I got the, the verb. And the second one, he makes me laugh whenever I am down. I don't know if you got the meaning that I'm trying to convey you. Remember that, that, that I am following the structure. Let me, let me start sharing. Okay, you got it there. This is the structure that we need to follow. The same you need to do, right? Uh, teacher, lo voy a decir, pero a ver cómo me sale. But, but I need that you share your screen. Can you do it? Yes, try to do it, please. Ana Lilian. Sí, yes. Okay, try to do it. Try to do it. Uh, the working make my economic stability. Could, could you, uh, uh, well, maybe uh, you are going to have some problem because not all of you are in, in a computer, right? Posiblemente algunos tengan problemas para compartir, eh, porque me gustaría que sí lo hiciesen los que puedan hacerlo. Pero yo solo lo escribí eh, acá. Ah, ok. Ok. Ajá. Pero sí lo escribí, ¿no? ¿sí? Ok, 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 ok. But, but I need that you learn how to use the whiteboard that we got here. Pero también quiero que aprendamos a usar el whiteboard que aparece al momento de compartir y ahí pueden escribir. Si ya la tienen en su cuaderno, eh, lo que puede hacer es irse a la parte de compartir, encontrará el whiteboard ahí, le da clic y ahí la escribe para poder verla. Can I try, teacher? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Let us do it. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, because we okay. got we got maids, we got um, someone here and, and the bird too. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. What about the next one? Oh, you have only one. I only have only one. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Okay, let me check out the attendance uh, and try to be ready in order to share it with us, right? Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Eh, Ana Mariela. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis. José Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. Laura. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Mayra? No. Zaira Eliana? Zaira Marleni? Present teacher. Santos Misael? Present teacher. Wendy? Present teacher. Jenny? Present teacher. Yesenia Lisette? Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. No, Mario Ernesto here. Mario. Okay, I don't know uh, if somebody else wants to continue sharing the whiteboard. I try, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Contraseña. Ah, no, espérame, ya. No, solo me quiero meter en mi correo. <risa> no me cuesta. Oh, ahí va una U. Esa es una. De claro. me... Me eh, cuesta, teacher. Eh, lo... Mejor compartamos una foto, teacher. Yo, en lo personal, no pude. <risa> ah, me cuesta, me cuesta. Ok, lo que deben de hacer para que no les cueste es que al momento de compartir vamos a buscar a dónde se encuentra... Permítame, ya les, ya les digo cómo van a hacer. 
en la parte en la parte donde está el lápiz van a dar clic ahí y luego se despliega eh, otro menú de izquierda a derecha donde dice texto hay una T le van a dar clic ahí y comienzan a escribir como una máquina normal vamos a intentar otra vez Ok, pero tiene que irse a buscar eh, donde dice, bueno, el mío como está en inglés dice whiteboard. Pizarra debe decir en el de ustedes, creo. Whiteboard, dice el mío. Ah, ok. Here we go. Ahora escriba eh, como normal. Ya está compartiendo. Ahí está, ok. Mmm... Okay, and now you what you can do is just to to get bigger uh, the box. Para que le quede en una sola línea, tome el punto del centro y solo lo lo lleva hacia su derecha. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay, thank you. Stop chatting. Ok, somebody else wants to try? Probando estaba, teacher, y después no supe, no sabía qué hacer. Ah, pero ya aprendió, ya aprendió algo nuevo, ¿cierto? <laughs> Thank you. Ok, Escobar is there, Escobar is there. Ok, Escobar, before you read it, uh, try to get bigger in order that we can get only one line. Seleccione y trate de hacerla más larga para que para que le queden una sol, un solo espacio o dos líneas. Now. Okay, at the moment that you start writing in the box, uh, you need to stay there if you want to continue writing. Cuando abren una caja, por favor, manténganse ahí escribiendo porque si se salen van a abrir otra y otra. And it's going to be difficult for you to control. But if you want, you can read the first one that you have, uh, Escobar. I, I, I'm not hearing you. I'm not listening to you. If you are speaking, I, I can hear you. Híjole, perdón. 
Eh, lo voy a intentar rapidito, nuevamente. Ok, no le estábamos oyendo, ¿cierto? Ah, perdón. Okay, decía, así... de, de, decía de que lo, lo iba a hacer nuevamente. Ah, ok. Eh, y, aquí, y aquí era eran dos, 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 no. pero aquí puse his, his detach. Ah, ok. Eh, estas de acá abajo, estas de acá serían mis dos oraciones. My boss made me plant his stash. Ostash. Ok, ok. ¿En el segundo? El segundo, the maintenance department, may employees help in the maintenance level one. Ah, ok, excelente. Thank you. Thank you. Ok, somebody else, the last one, because we need to start it, uh, something else. But try to do it, try to do it. You need to learn how to do it, right? Yesenia is there, Yesenia is there. But ah, you, you, are, you are doing it in a different way. Ah, in Microsoft. <laughs> Ah, ok, ok. Pero lo, lo que quiero es que aprendan a usar la pizarra, pero con, continue. Ah, ok. Read it, read it. Yeah. My mother made, my, made me cook all the weekend. And my sister made me pay her clothes. Ah, ok. Ok, excelente. Thank you. Ahora. Ahora le da stop. Ok. Ok, let us continue. Um, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tienen alguna consulta hasta acá. Sí. No puedo, quizás porque estoy desde el teléfono, pero lo hice en el blog, si sí, lo puedo mostrar. Ah, ok, you can do it. Mary, Mary. Ay, pero no sé por qué. Me parece que me salió un menú emergente que si aparecer otras aplicaciones. Pero no encuentro Zoom. Ok, ok. Don't worry about it. Ah, you got it there. Ah, we are seeing different. Okay, you got it there. Eh, la primera sería, they made him clean all house in the morning. My teacher made me read in English class. Okay. Thank you. Ah, I think, como, I have to compare. Sí. <laughs> I said. That is me, that is me. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Let us continue talking about this. Uh, we are going to continue with the material that we got in the, with the information that we got in the books, because I, I was trying to share with you a, a presentation, but maybe, maybe that, that one is uh, giving me some problems. Okay, let us continue talking about the next word. Okay, get plus someone plus infinitive. Right here, you need to be careful because when we use make, we use be firm. But in this case, when we talk about get, we are going to use infinitive. Okay, how is gonna be? Okay, take a look at the example. I can get customer to low our premium service. Okay, when we use get, we are going to use to, and then it's going to be the, the verb. Okay, the project manager said it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand 
in a short time. You see what we are talking about this. Okay, the advertising events will get people to order products online more often. Okay, let, let me draw some line here in order that you can get more information about it. Okay, I got get here. Someone is gonna be customer. And the infinitive is going to be this one. These are the infinitive. Okay, you got it? Yes? Okay, now uh, take a look of, of the examples. And I need that you uh, write at least two examples related with this. And then we are going to start with exercise five. But first of all, I need to, I need to be sure that you are uh, following this structure. Ok, ahora me gustaría que compartieran su pantalla a, a otros que no lo han hecho para que vayamos aprendiendo a hacerlo. As soon as you have it, just let me know, please. Remember, at the moment that you are going to use the word get, you need to use infinitive. And when we talk about infinity, it means that you need to have the particle to before the verb. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the first one, I'm going to put a number here. Let me see if I can do it now. My goodness, it happened the same that happened to. In this case, it's better uh, if we erase it in order to start again doing. Okay, you got it there. The first one says, John got a to clean the bathroom. Because we can use it not only as in present, but also we can use it uh, in simple past. He always gets me to do his work. And then, uh, uh, the third one said, 
Mary will get Alex to prepare her homework. Ah, somebody else got another one. Teacher, I puse una. I can get sandals to sell in vacation. To get okay. Money. okay, okay. Somebody else wants to do it? You can do it there. Try to do it, try to do it. Ok, alguien más, por favor, trate de escribir la suya, a ver si puede, por favor. Somebody is trying to do it, no? Try to make longer. Who wrote this one? Who wrote this one? Yes, could you read it? I can get my boss love the working La iba separada de, de, de ahí dejo para que me fuesen. I work, I do for the company. But, but I don't see it. I don't, where, where do you have it? Lo escribo de nuevo porque se me escribió junto oh. ahí una palabra. Okay, let, let me erase my. I'm going to erase this one, this one, and this one. Okay, try to do it there. Ah, my daughter. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second, please. We need to move it. Okay, is there? Could you read it, please? Ah, teacher, no podía abrir el micrófono. Ah. My, my daughter has to make the bed before it going to study. Okay. Uh, my cousin, Joe. Go to the best restaurant in the city. In the city, okay. Mm. But according according to according to the structure, we need to be careful how we are going to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, tenemos que tener cuidado. ¿Por qué? Porque a uh, Esta, estos verbos también pueden ser usados no en forma causativa, ¿no? Que está generando que alguien más haga algo. For that reason, let, let me show you uh, the structure that we need to follow. La estructura que necesitamos seguir. Has to do with this. Let me put it here. No, I'm going to put it apart. My goodness, what is... 
what am I doing? I need to do it in this way. I'm going to put it here. Okay, this is the structure that we need to follow. Para que cumpla con lo que hemos estado hablando, debe del verbo llevar get, después debe, debe de ir el alguien y después el infinitivo. Porque también podemos usar uh, esas palabras como get and made en diferentes formas. But in this case, we, we need to follow the structure that we have. You don't need to, you don't get confused about that. No, no sé si me comprenden lo que estoy explicando. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to stop chatting. Okay, in this case, in this moment, what I want is that you understand the use of these two words make and get but we need to follow this structure pero debemos de seguir esta estructura que tenemos aquí si no tenemos esta estructura entonces no estamos hablando del tema que tenemos acá I don't know if you got my, my explanation in Spanish but how, how to do it like the example that we got here. Okay, um, I don't know if somebody wants to say something. I hear that a microphone is. Okay, let us work on exercise number five then in order to see if you are following my instructions. Para ver si están siguiendo mis instrucciones, uh, no, exercise number five say use the verb in parentheses to complete the sentences. And you got the first one, customer attention makes companies try every sort of strategy. Okay, you are going to do two, three, four, five, and six. If you don't got the material, um, make a screenshot, please. But if you have it, go ahead now. Okay, I'm going to ask you this in Spanish. Antes de hacer el ejercicio, ¿realmente eh, hemos comprendido el uso de estas dos palabras? Porque también las podrán encontrar en muchas oraciones, pero que no siguen la estructura que estamos haciendo hoy. Eso es lo que quiero que, que les quede muy claro. ¿Sí? In my case, not. I don't understand. Ah, okay. Let me try to show you something here that is going to help you a little bit. Thank you. Let me get... That is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this in Spanish because I know that you can get confused. Mm, let me show you this fair. Oops, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, take a look of it, please. Make is used as a causative verb to mean. Vamos a usar make, que en este caso va a significar to force someone to do something. Como forzar a alguien para que haga algo. La estructura es, es, es el sujeto. Después tenemos make. En el agent. Ahí es donde va el alguien. Could you, could be me, you, he, she, it, etc., etc. And then we are going to have uh, the bare infinity. It's like the base form of the bare. For example, my teacher, my teacher is the subject, may 
plus uh, the agent that is me made me apologize for what I had said. Wendy, identifíqueme todas las partes que están en la, valga la redundancia, en la parte de arriba. Identifíqueme las en el ejemplo, por favor. Ok, teacher. Subject, my teacher. Ok. Make in another time, may. Ok. Agent, um, me. Me is agent. Is the agent okay? The agent and bear bear infinitive Apolo apologies. Apologize, okay. Apologize. What about now? Can you understand it? Um yeah, not, yet, no, not yet. Take a look about the, the, the next example. I know. She made I her know. children, she made her children do their homework. Okay, identify okay. the structure. Yeah, subject she uh, make male, uh, agent her. Um, hmm. Her children is agent. Positive. And by infinity do. Okay. 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 Um, how can I tell you this? In fact, uh, this is the first time that I think in a translation about the word causative. Because when I learn it, I learn it uh, just how to use it, but I never saw it in a, in a translation into Spanish. But, but in this case, let me try to give you a better idea that we are going to use may, make, to cause, para causar, sí, podría decirse así, o forzar a alguien a que haga algo. En este caso, ella hizo que sus niños, sí, hagan sus tareas. ¿Ya? Y en, yeah. este, y en este otro caso, my teacher made me, mi maestro me hizo, ok, made me apologize for what I have said, me hizo que me disculpara por lo que yo dije. Entonces, ahora se entiende cómo es que se usa la palabra. Yes? Yes. Y yes, this, this same happened with, the, with the, the previous one that we started, ok. Bueno, bueno, esta era la presentación que no les pude hacer porque se me oía entrecortado. La lluvia ha pasado. Um, let us work on exercise number five, please. I don't know if you have it there. If not, I can share it. Si no lo tienen, lo puedo compartir. Okay, you got it there. And let us uh, try to put in practice what we have started. In the second one, say marketing health, health businesses. We got two words here. How we are going to resolve this one? Marketing health businesses get get customer buy buy product. Ah, but what is missing? To buy. Ah, okay. To buy, to buy product. Escríbalo, Yesenia. Escríbalo, por favor. 
¿Por qué? Because at the moment that we are going to use get, we are going to use the particle to. But when we use make, we don't need it. With get, we use uh, infinitive. And with make, it, we use... the number two, teacher, please. Marketing helps businesses get customers to buy products. Okay, number three, who got the answer? We can't make people like our products without the right strategy. Ah, okay. Okay. We can make people like our product without the right strategy. ¿Por qué no usamos tú ahí? Eh, ¿Por qué no usamos tú así como la anterior? Because it's make. Ah, because we are using made and we need to use the bay form. Porque cuando usamos made, vamos a usar la forma base del de verbo. Perfecto. Number four. Number four. They loyal consumers to help with advertising events. Okay, to help with advertising events. Okay. Number five. Somebody. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you finish. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que los terminen y luego we are going to compare it, right? And let me check out, I got a, ah, we got some sentences in the chat. Human resources manager makes the new evaluation to measure the performance of employees. Jenny Suleyma wrote this. The last meeting, we made a new financial plan to 2022. Okay. And we have something else here now. Well, I guess I... Let me try... Hello, can you hear me? Yes. In the same way? Hello. 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 Okay, I don't want to use it, my headphones. Every day I keep with the mask and I, and I had to continue using this. At night too. No, it's not possible. Me mantengo todo el día con, eh, con el tapabocas y en la noche tenemos que seguir con el headphone. Yeah. Okay, I guess it, it is clear how we are going to use this to work, right? Okay, let us finish uh, the, the last two sentences that we have there, okay. Okay, number, number five or four, just tell me. Me teacher. Okay. The marketing director may make people eh, palabra, no sé for the the past eight. 
the best ah uh. okay okay and the last one me teacher top business make their employees take constant training or marketing okay top, or marketing. Bus top businesses make their employees take constant training on marketing okay thank you I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Si alguien tiene una pregunta hasta este momento, por favor, indíquelo. Let me see your faces. I don't see your faces. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Sí, pues cuando estoy presentando, solo no, no les puedo ver a todos, sí. Eh, Wendy, everything is clear. Now uh, you got the, the, the information. Yes, teacher. Clear. Okay. Thank you. What about the rest of the class? Ana Lilian, any question? Laura, Escobar. It's clear, teacher. Concepción, María Elena, Claudia, Jonathan. Mariela, Ana Beatriz, Misael, Carlos, Juan Carlos, los que no pantalla que dicen que están por aquí. También. Ah, Mariela is there. Glad to see you. In esta máquina, teacher, eh, no tengo cámara. No la cámara. Que tenía, okay. eh, la que tenía se me ha arruinado y no la he podido reparar. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay, okay. Pero voy a poner una foto para que vean que soy yo. <laughs> ah, okay. The voice is inconfundible. Inconf se se inconfunde. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, remember that at the moment that in Sapphire, they can look at the videos. Uh, what they need to see is your faces because it's kind of mandatory that you have to turn on your cameras. That is the reason why I keep uh, telling you that you uh, need to turn on your cameras. Esa es la razón por la que me mantengo diciéndoles que enciendan su cámara porque cuando auditan el video, en Sapor lo que quiere ver son los rostros. Sí, no solo los nombres. Así es que, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Ok, let us... Igual acepto. Acepto donaciones, teacher. Ah, ok. Vaya un buen samaritano que quiera donarle eh, un ordenador. Él no pide marca, pero si es Apple, mejor. Por el momento, está en crisis el país, la gasolina está cara. <laughs> ah, pero, maybe uh, it's going to appear Santa Claus and he's going to give you something, okay? Don't worry. In this that, that we got it in, on April now. No que en April, but Santa Claus is going to give you something. Okay, let us continue uh, with the next exercise because, uh, okay, let me see. In number six, I don't know if you can see it in your material. Let me show you. Okay, build, build in vocabulary, read the description and I scramble the words. What is that, brand? And we have different uh, letters there. 
okay uh the way people recognize the brand it may be through the logo or other associated visual okay the, the two brand and you are going to figure it out the idea identify all develop in their minds i'm sorry Sunny? so what Brand identify. Ah, ya la tiene. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you like uh, five minutes to, to, to solve it, okay? But don't say it before. Okay, work on it. If you don't have it, uh, make on a stream chat because I'm going to stop sharing. Si no tienes el material, por favor, uh, haga un screenshot. And another thing that uh, you need to talk about, uh, well, let, let us work on this. Uh, Okay, remember, we are so close to finish this module. Only one day left for this week and then vacation and the next one we are going to finish. And you are going to be really, really happy. I know that uh, sometimes it's really difficult. I'm still wondering why I got problem with my connection today. I can I can accept the situation. Okay, as soon as you finish, just let me know, please. I guess it's easy for you and you already have it. Do you finish, Michelle? Yes? Not yet? Not yet, teacher. Okay, don't worry about it. Jenny, what about you, Jenny? No teacher. No yet? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yesenia, Ali said you have two different. Uh, Una me falta teacher. Equipment, right? We are connected with two devices, right? Está conectada con dos con dos dispositivos, Yesenia. Sí, teacher. Ah, okay. Claudia, did you finish, Claudia? No, okay. No, yet. okay, okay. I 
Adriana? No. Wendy? Not yet, teacher. Okay, Laura, Laura. Escobar, I guess. Mm -hmm. is... okay, no. no? Marlene? What about you, Marlene? Maria Concepcion, what about you? Maria Elena? No. Ana Mariela? No yet. Kind of tricky, right? Tricky, tricky. The number five is this. <laughs> number five? Brand. This is how a brand stands out in the crew. It's kind of difficult. I'm going to give you a A clue. Okay, start with letter. Start with letter D. Start with letter D and finish in letter N. Okay, I gave you two. In Spanish, in Spanish, it's difficult in order for me. Imagine in English. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but uh, in this way, you are exercising your your brain. Es para que se le quite el sueño. Okay, as soon as you have it, just tell me. And you say, bingo, I got it. And you're gonna be the winner, okay? Bingo. You got it. Don't tell us. Don't tell us now. Don't tell us now, please. Try to keep it there. Okay, in order to be sure. I guess. <laughs> okay, in order I guess that sure, I correct. In order to be sure that you got the right one, let me ask you a question. Could you tell me? Uh, what letter do you have in number number five? Uh, what, what letter? Yeah. What letter do you have? Letter right now? At the beginning. No, 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 no. Or which no, word? No, number one is letter D. And you start counting from letter D, one, two, three, four. Which one is letter uh, letter five in the word? Mm. ¿Qué letra tiene usted número cinco en la palabra? Uh, 
I don't know if you got what I'm. No, I don't get it. <laughs> no? No, no, I don't get your idea. Okay, let, let me, how can I tell you this? If we are spelling something, si estamos deletreando algo. All right. Okay, imagine I got one, two, three, four, five. What letter do you have in the number five? For the hidden word at yes, number yes. two. No, 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 no. Okay. At the and number five. Mm. Bingo two. En español y a colores. <laughs> en el ejercicio cinco, ah. la palabra escondida. En esa palabra, ¿qué letra tiene usted ah, en el ah, espacio three, cinco? Four, five. Letter E. Ah, ok. Maybe you got the right one. Maybe. <laughs> Wendy, you got it too? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, because of the time we are going to discover this words. Ya, ya les encontré que les cuesta. Ah, okay, I'm, go I'm going to apply that situation in order to, to, to wake you up. Okay, let us start talking about, okay. Oh, what about number one, uh, Escobar, say it, right? Will you repeat it, Escobar, please? Blank identify. Ah, uh, we got problem, we got problem. Identity. Identity. Okay, Identity. That, that is the right one. Identity. Yes. Yeah. Okay, number two. Imagine. Re could you read the uh, fourth word, please? Image o algo así, no sé, pero es imagen. <laughs> Brand image. Image. Okay. Image. image. Okay, number three. Personality. Personality. Okay, but you need to read the, the, the word brand. Brand personality. Brand personality. Okay, number four. Experience. Brand experience. And number one, Misael. Letter D. Number five, differentiation. Brand differentiation. Yeah. Brand okay. differentiation. Brand differentiation. Okay, how do you feel this exercise? Difficult? Kind of easy? This is okay. A little difficult for me. It wake me up. <laughs> ah, yeah. oh, okay, that, that is the point. That is the point. Okay, um, we are so close to finish. I need to take in, uh, the attendance, but I'm still wait, uh, wondering why I got problem with my microphone today. Maybe I need to check out my computer. I got a, a, a lot of information there and I need to um, empty some info maybe. Or what do you think? ¿O qué creen que puede estar sucediendo? Porque no creo que sea conexión. ¿Será que necesito cambiarle las memorias? ¿O será el procesador? Mantenimiento. Ah, ok. Mañana la Weather llevo. Weather teacher. A new one. Weather effect. Ah, yeah, the weather, weather effect. Yeah, yeah, the weather effect. Yes. yes. In my case, uh, rain, no. raining, raining in off all my, my computer or my my internet okay yes. that maybe could something could happen but I, I need to discover 
I need to find out what is happening with my services also. Okay, let me see the attendance. Okay, en español, eh, decirles que el día de mañana, eh, aunque me, me, me acueste bastante tarde, pero necesito actualizar las notas. Ya que el sabadito eh, ya está comprometido, entonces quiero hacer eso eh, lo más pronto posible para dejar sus notas actualizadas. Así es que les pido encarecidamente que si no han elaborado, si no han resuelto esas actividades, busquen un espacio para poder hacerlo y que ya sus notas queden actualizadas. Y así cuando regresemos, ya solo nos falte una semana. Ok, okay Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Present. Escobar. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis Elizabeth. José Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present. Mayra Veralice. Present. Mayra Veralice. Microphone, microphone. Ok, Zaira Eliana ya no está. Mayra Veralice no estaba. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Eh, Miss Zaira is there. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny, you are number... Present teacher. You are number 19, Jenny. That means that is your turn today. Okay. Okay, prepare your questions. Uh, yes, and Lisette is gonna be tomorrow. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. And Mario Ernesto Villeda. No se conectó Mario el día de hoy. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Vean cómo es el clima, justamente terminando la clase y la lluvia que se va terminando. I don't know what is happening here. No, la naturaleza no está, algo, algo, algo me está diciendo. I need to, to be careful about it. The nature say you is staying vacation. Ah, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. But I hope to see you tomorrow. Ya se está curando. Mire, quizás no estar mañana. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> okay, we need to be careful. Uh, as the moment that we leave our we, we leave our house, we need to be careful about. And if you believe in God, you are going to pray to Him, and you are going to say the Savior and your family too. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, night. Good night, teacher. Bless you. Bye, bye. Okay, bye, bye. Take care. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Oh, un bebé dijo bye, bye por ahí. Yeah, some baby. Okay, see you. Bye, bye. Okay, Jenny. How are you, Jenny? Hi, teacher. I'm okay.
Okay. How are you? Oh, a kind of sh a shame, you know. Aquí así como con pena porque nunca me había pasado que se me congelara el teléfono. Sí. Generalmente la máquina que estoy usando eh, está bastante nueva, no tiene ni el año. Pero puede ser un bajón de corriente. Dice, el lunes me pasó eso, no, no logré. Es posible que así sea, porque uh -huh. en conexión no creo, porque he duplicado la, la velocidad. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, traté de, de, de hacer la presentación que tenía, pero eso como bajó el, 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 la conectividad. Sí. Este. Pero al final creo que sí se pudo entender las dos palabras como las íbamos a usar, que era lo más importante. Sí, eso, eso podemos trabajar, teacher, porque, bueno, las, las oraciones que le envié en el, en el chat, okay. esas estaban bien hechas. Yes. Ajá, yo tenía duda porque, wow, quiero ver, wow, por wow. el uso del, del infinite que, que lleva tú, el verbo. Okay, but, but you are going to add two only when you are going to use get. Uh -huh. And when you use make. We are going to use the base form. Make. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, porque yo coloqué, por ejemplo, en la que hice de make, puse Human Resource Manager makes the new valuation to measure. Entonces. Ah, okay, that, no, that, is, that, that is the reason why you are thinking that it's not following the structure. Uh -huh. Measure the okay. performance of the employees. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if you got it there and you share. I'm going to share the whiteboard and you. Okay, let me erase. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to erase everything that I got. You can just copy and paste here if you and we can check it. I don't know if you got a computer or on your cell phone. Um, no, in computer. Okay. Lo escribo acá. Yes. Donde aparece el lápiz, o solo puedo acá elegir en la parte de arriba donde dice whiteboard. Okay. O, o cliqué dentro de la, de, la, de la pizarra. No, no me apareció. O puedo compartir el Word que yo tenía donde lo estaba haciendo, que es este. Okay. Let me stop sharing. Acá está. Okay. Show me. The second. Human resources human, manager. Human, human mm -hmm. resources managers. May. May the new evaluation to measure employees. Okay. Okay. Remember that um, lo que tenemos que tomar en cuenta en causative verbs is that the use of these verbs force someone to do something else. Lo que debemos de tomar en cuenta es el verbo hacer o que fuercen a alguien a hacer algo. Entonces, uh -huh. de esa manera está. Bueno, uh -huh. Al contrario, podemos usar el make or get, pero de una manera distinta. Uh -huh. En este caso, si vemos la estructura, no, no está bajo. Sí, me queda un poquito de duda con el, con el uso de este, porque esta también, esta la hice con get, esta sí, ¿verdad? Tenía que ir in, infinity. Sí, lo único que uh -huh. también veo es que le hace falta. Ok, if you want a uh, stop sharing. Stop sharing. There is that chilling. Yeah. Just to show you the, the OK. 
Okay, let me go. Here I'm going to. Okay, I need that you take a look at. Va, si vemos la estructura. Eh, tenemos la palabra make, después someone, que este va a ser el agente, uh, plus the bear in bay form. Uh -huh. Si tenemos estas tres, estos tres elementos, entonces estamos haciendo with the, uh, the causative verbs. Causative Sí, porque por ejemplo, si usted observa, maze employees revise. Entonces tengo maze, que es este. Someone sería uh -huh. los empleados. Y la forma base sería revise. Cuando eh, dice someone es eh, a complement. No, este oh, es, sería someone. el agente. Uh -huh. Este que aquí podría ser eh, okay. el. El, pronoun. Ya cualquier pronombre. ¿sí? Uh -huh. sí, y luego el verbo, la forma base. Y en el otro lado, la palabra get más el agente más el. Infinity. Sí. Uh -huh. Si seguimos esta estructura, entonces sí podemos decir que estamos usando la manera recta del tema, porque ya dije. ¿no? podemos usar las palabras uh -huh. pero no estamos forzando a nadie a hacer algo no hay una, una un resultado uh -huh. okay. ok that's something uh -huh. Del resto, teacher, yo creo que sí. En no, sí lo entendí. Creo que es, es ya ahora es como bastante que uno practique. Sí, uh, let me show you this first. Okay, en, veamos este. Mire, por ejemplo, dice complete with the version. Try information if necessary. Aquí estamos haciendo un plan. Por ejemplo, dice his current may King. y luego mm -hmm. le ponemos el, eh, la forma base del verbo ¿Qué, ¿qué pasó? according to the picture what happened? Eh, sería que it the spirit may may him eat all the food may him eat uh -huh. that could be in that way pero uh -huh. la verdad es que como se ha comido todo el plato, sus padres se hicieron enojar. Me hungry. But you see the, the, the face, pero vean el rostro. Uh -huh. Pasaría que fue lo que hicieron los papás, que él se enojara. Eh, sus padres se hicieron... Lo hicieron enojar. Yeah, Hungry. Be, Hungry. Made, uh -huh. made him. Ah, ah, pero ahí hay, un, hay que tener cuidado porque después del de made va el agente y después tiene que haber un verbo uh -huh. para que funcione lo que estamos diciendo. Cuando dice el agente, ¿a qué se refiere? El agente I es, just... en este caso se convierte en el, en, en el personaje. Uh -huh. La gente puede ser cualquier pronombre. Por ejemplo, aquí es que may... sus padres hicieron él. Y luego the, bo the boy hungry, algo así. Mm, que lo que necesitamos es el agente, ya sabemos que es, es él. May him, uh -huh. y después necesitamos un verbo. Su forma base. His parents made him eat all the food. Ah, ahí sí, mira. Mm -hmm. Y en el otro, en el B, her parents made her cry. Her cry. Sí, su padre la hicieron llorar. Mm -hmm. Sí. 
the movie made. What, uh, based on the picture, the movie made us, made us cry. Cry. Mm -hmm. La película nos hizo llorar. Llorar. Sí. And what about letter B? Reading Read. the card made. Reading the uh, card made me. He's, he's happy. Sí, pero, pero es necesitado. Del may, el agente perro, por favor. Ver la carga, ajá. Uh -huh. Within the car made me feel happy. Mm -hmm. Made me feel happy. Yes. And uh, when we talk about made, okay, this is for, we never use it. Okay, aquí tenemos como la escritura. Era lo que iba a preguntar. Subject, mm -hmm. get, plus is the action, plus infinity. Este ya es con el get, cuando dice mm -hmm. get, get as a household bear means, means someone to do something. Mm -hmm. Convencer a alguien para... For mm -hmm. example, said the mechanic did think it was necessary, but I finally convinced, check the brace. I got the mechanic to check my brake. Mm -hmm. Mecánico nunca pensario. Se lo convencí. Frenos. Mm -hmm. Entonces, la oración sería, I got the mechanic to check my brake. Mm -hmm. And the next one say, I, I asked the mechanic to check the brakes. Entonces okay. aquí, ya como ya had the mechanics check my okay, I guess uh, you already got so nice. Okay. I don't know if we have another question. Mm, no, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Because uh, of the time, I would like to thank you. Sweet. Okay. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.